What is going on Toyota fans? This is Andrew from Trailrunner Customs. Today we're back with another 4th Gen 4Runner video. Now this video is a little bit different from my normal modification and outdoor content. We're actually going to be doing some troubleshooting on your stuck 4Runner back latch not opening properly. So let's take a look at the issue. Now if you're a 4Runner owner, you know that when all the doors are unlocked and the car is in park, your back latch should be able to open up pretty easily. Now here you can see it will not open. It seems to be stuck, so let's jump into a potential fix for this. So what we're gonna try in this video before we do anything else is resetting the ECUB module. Now this is the computer module within the Forerunner that controls the back latch mechanism. So what you wanna do first is pop your hood and then you can get into the fuse box itself. Now some people choose to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery to reset the ECU. But even easier than this, you can access the ECU fuse within the fuse box. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's pop the front two tabs on the fuse box and get into the fuse box itself. Now an advantage to inspecting the ECU fuse as opposed to pulling off the wire connector is that pulling the fuse allows you to look at it and make sure there's no damage or anything that might mess up the computer that controls the hatch. Looking at the fuse box diagram, we can see the 10 amp ECUB fuse is the one we're after. It's on the second row from the bottom. Now let's look at it where it is on the car itself. So the red one right there, the 10 amp on the very right hand side of this little triple in the middle, that is what we're pulling. Now that we've located the fuse we wanna pull, grab your needle nose and pull straight up to remove it. Now it does need about 10 to 15 seconds to reset. So you can use that time to inspect the fuse, make sure that it's not damaged, and then you can go ahead and move forward with putting it back in. Now grab your key fob and press the lock button, followed by pressing the unlock button twice just to kind of unlock all the doors and the lift gate. So now you want to go ahead, walk to the back of your vehicle and try the lift gate to see if that solved the problem. So for me, it actually did solve the problem. Here I am lifting up the lift gate back to normal. I went ahead and opened it all the way and then I'm going to close it and open it again just to kind of confirm everything's working properly. So if this fixes your lift gate, you are good to go. You can replace the cover on your fuse box, shut your hood, and just go about your day. But now we're going to talk about what to do if this doesn't work. So if this does not work, unfortunately, it's probably an actuator failure in your lock. Now this is a part that has to be replaced. There are videos on YouTube about doing that, and I would suggest going to view those as they are very in-depth and can help you fix your problem. Just a reminder, if you like 4Runner or Toyota content, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe. Thanks. If you're looking to upgrade your 4Runner or earlier Toyota and make it stand out, please check out our website, trailrunnercustoms.com. Link in description. Thanks.